Hello and welcome to Tech Topics. My name is Aaron Brodney and I'm a Systems Reliability Engineer here at Nutanix in Durham, North Carolina. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the theory of networking in uh, Nutanix Acropolis. There are essentially two types of network configurations in Acropolis. There's a simple virtual network which involves uh, VLAN tagging um, the virtual machine's interface and sending it out that way and a managed network which involves having a predefined static IP address for each VM or to use a DHCP pool to assign out these addresses. So then let's take a look a little bit more at each configuration in action. We have first, like we talked about, the virtual network which is taking place at layer two and in our diagram in the middle we've got open vSwitch or a little box that is intended to be open vSwitch. We have our uplinks into the physical switch which might be ETH0 and ETH1 and then we have ports on that uh, virtual switch, uh, one of which is being utilized by the CVM and others which are being utilized by user virtual machines. And this is the most common configuration. And in this configuration, the CVM is directly managing via APIs the open vSwitch ports that have been created. A less common configuration, but still one that is useful, is a managed network. And we uh, refer to that as being at layer three because you've got an actual IP address. Like before, we've got open vSwitch in the middle with interfaces ETH0 and ETH1 trunked into a physical switch. Um, what's different here, though, is we do have the CVM managing the ports on the virtual switch, but there's also a DHCP server baked right into the CVM, which is feeding addresses to the virtual machine pool. And this isn't required, but it's an option that can be utilized. Um, you can also simply assign static addresses. Regardless of which configuration you run with, be it a simple virtual network or a managed network, it's important to keep in mind that the physical switch configuration needs to match on every single port uh, what you have configured here. The reason being if you had a virtual machine that was normally running on node A and node A's configuration were not uh, mirrored correctly for node C, networking might be lost when the virtual machine is moved. So we like to avoid that by ensuring that the, con the configuration is consistent across the board, across all of your switches. I hope this information on what is happening under the covers with Nutanix Acropolis networking was helpful to you. Please see my colleague John Burton's video for a practical guide to implementing Nutanix Acropolis networking. Uh, my name is Aaron Brodney. Thanks for watching and check back at New School for more tech topics.